Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, girl, I'm so excited that you're here, okay? If you've been here before, girl, welcome back. Listen, you know what to do. You already know what's in the fridge. You grab yourself a snack, do the things. You know I'm long-winded. Listen, let me warn you. If this is your first time around these parts, okay, this is your first video with me, um, we like to talk. We like to chat, you know, very old school style YouTube, chatty Kathy. This is what we do over here. So I wanted to t bring this subject up because it has come up in some of the live streams that I've been doing with Patricia, aka Guys Design here on YouTube. If you don't know, we've been doing these live streams together, some on her channel, some on my channel. So if you are not subscribed to my channel and if you're not subscribed to her channel and you don't have your notifications turned on, then you are missing out, girl. But there's been this interesting kind of underlying current in a lot of our live streams about confidence. And, you know, confidence is one of those things where I wouldn't consider myself a um, like a confidence expert. But what I will say is I am a woman who has very similar to my videos about femininity, who has healed that part of my life. And so, you know, very similar to when you have a broken bone and it heals, sometimes it, it you know, it heals stronger than had it never been broken before. And since I am a woman who has experienced low confidence in different areas in my lifetime and have healed those wounds, girl, my confidence is on a hundred million trillion. Feel me. Okay. And I've managed to keep it into really strong and healthy confidence and not arrogance because my definition of confidence is like I is like knowing that I'm amazing even with my flaws whereas arrogance is like I'm amazing with no flaws and I'm better than you right like I don't I don't like I'm amazing and you're amazing we're amazing together yes you have flaws yes I have flaws and girl so what we still are amazing and yes we're still trying to improve and develop so that's kind of where my my confidence sits, right? That's kind of my definition. And so I really wanted to talk about like kind of the overarching way I was able to pick up my confidence because um, if you don't know, I'm a God girl, you know, um, I'm a believer, uh, you know, I, ha I, uh, I, have, I have a faith practice, a spiritual practice, if you will. And, you know, a lot of things that have helped me heal certain areas of my life are Bible based. I'm just going to be, you know, honest and transparent about that. Like, hey, who am I give credit to? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who am I give credit to? But the one who made me. All right. So this conversation has come up about confidence and it's like an essential ingredient in um holding people accountable confidence is an essential ingredient in setting boundaries confidence is an essential ingredient in being successful confident is an essential ingredient in femininity like you need confidence and let me tell you how i can prove this this is just not my theory so here's the scripture right the scripture says therefore this is the new king james version okay therefore do not cast your confidence uh do not cast away your confidence which has a great reward what Another translation says, so do not throw away this com uh, this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings to you. Another translation says, cast not thy confidence to the side, right? And so I was sharing this with someone the other day that confidence, you don't lose it. You put it down somewhere, right? You experience something. Somebody said something. Something happened. And you take your confidence and it's put down. And I think that what has helped me tremendously about reclaiming my confidence is doing the work to figure out all the places and all the experiences um, that I can remember that made me put my confidence down, that made me cast it to the side, that made me toss it away. I didn't lose it. I tossed it. Right. Um, and I think that's true for a lot of people that somebody said something, something happened, you experienced something, you went through something that really kind of like rocked you to your core. And I think about emotional trauma that, you know, if you got hit by a car, we know that our emergency response is to call 911 and get to a hospital. But I think culturally, uh, women, African-American women uh, in particular, that when we're hit with emotional trauma, we don't have an emergency response. 
And I think once I started developing a practice of having an emergency response, that when things happen to me, that kind of, that I that I'm aware that I'm like, oh, this is an emotional blow, just like if I was to get hit in the mouth or if I was to be in a car accident. And part of that helped me reclaim my confidence. But I would say the bigger piece of that is that my confidence isn't reliant upon me. Um, I think the reason why my confidence is as strong as it is, is because my confidence is not in me, but it's in who made me. And I, I think there's a different distinction because I'm human. I will disappoint myself sometimes. I will let myself down sometimes. I will disappoint other people. Um, I will disappoint myself sometimes. I, you know, um, I will break my promise to myself. I will break my promise to other people sometimes. Even with the best intentions, even being the most disciplined. And so if my confidence was based solely on me, girl, I would be on a forever emotional roller coaster. But when I got really clear about who I am, and it sounds so cliche, but whose I am, and understanding that my magnificent God, girl, made me. Like, all of this, okay? The good and the the girl, you might want to work on that, right? Like, all of that together, you're like, girl, I'm bomb over here. What do you mean? So, listen, that's a, y'all, I have this voice that I do. I have a couple of different voices that I do when I'm hype. Like, I have one that does dance. Like, I don't know what that's about. Like, I don't know why I do that. And then I have the one that goes real high-pitched like I just did. But you just, just rock with me. And so... I mean, there's several things that I've done along the way that have definitely got me to that realization. Um, Knowing how I'm built, knowing how I'm wired, knowing what my strengths are, knowing what my opportunities are, um, knowing what my spiritual gifts are, right? Once I got really clear on my design, I was like, yo, my design is mad hot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking just physically like, yes, do your girl think she kind of (laughs) cute? Of course. Okay. So should you, right? And this is not about meeting somebody else's beauty standards or somebody else's way of being like... I like me like this. And if you like me like this, that's a bonus. But I like I would I wouldn't want to be anybody else. Do you know how bomb it is to be me? You should feel the same way about you. Like you should be like, girl, if I wasn't me, I would want to be me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like me. And so it's taking work to get there though. But once I got real clear on my design how God made me, my propensity, my bends, you know, my skill set, um, who I am in his kingdom. Like, you can't tell me that I'm less than. Do I have areas that need improvement? For sure. Do I have areas that are lacking? Girl, yes, absolutely. Do I sometimes say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, break a promise, this, that? You, absolutely, okay? Am I still amazing? Absolutely. So the biggest thing is I had to get really clear on my confidence is not in me because I don't really have nothing to do with that. It's kind of like, yes, I think I'm cute, but I really didn't have nothing to do with this. My parents created me, right? Like now I have chosen to enhance that, but the credit really goes to them. You know what I'm saying? And the credit really goes to their parents. Like, I, I didn't have really have anything to do with it. And so it's the same thing. Like, I didn't make me. God made me. I can't be arrogant in that. You know what I'm saying? We can't even breathe on our own. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's this is why I don't understand arrogance. But confident goes, but I know who my God is. And because my God is all things to all people at all times. And he is the I am that I am. And he made me like this. Why would I question his work? Now, because I'm human, okay, and we're fallen, I do have flaws. But even in that, I'm like, yeah, but I'm I'm still pretty bomb. Like I'm I, I'm I work on this, and I'm not perfect, and I'm fully aware. Okay, like here's the thing about here's the thing about confidence. Confidence does not mean to be without flaw, and arrogance is to have flaws and not be aware of them. If you tell me something about me. That's not that great. For the most part, I shouldn't be surprised. Like if I'm really doing the work, if I'm really staying connected to God and the Holy Spirit, I really shouldn't be surprised 
when I get feedback, right? And most of the time, I'm not. Most of the time, when I get feedback from something I did or something I said or didn't do or didn't say or whatever, I if you're mature in your womanhood, you're not really that surprised. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this video was all over the place, but I just felt the need to come on and talk about reclaiming your confidence. Everybody wants to talk about reclaiming your time, and that's great. But let me tell you what will keep you up at night. If you don't have your confidence in check, if you have not reclaimed it from whenever you toss it aside, girl, it's about to be a stressful experience. I just, you know, there were so many things that have been said to me and done to me over the years growing up, even as an adult experiences that you'd be like, wow, people are, and life is who, and knowing how to respond is not about trying to avoid those things because some things are out of your control. It's not about, you know, duck, ducking and dodging and making sure nothing um, hurtful ever happens to you. It's about in the event that it does, how do I not let it make me cast my confidence to the side? So pick it back up. The Bible says, which has great reward. Girl, listen, it's valuable. So um, just a random video today. I just felt led to talk about that. I feel like my videos have been all over the place recently, but I hope you enjoy them. I hope you rock with it. I hope you get it. Um, yeah, girl, that's it. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.